Connect Plus Primary 3 Students Book Term 1 Unit 3 Part 1 Unit 3 What's on your plate? Primary 3 Connect Plus Page 30 Exercise 1 Look, listen and read I always have fruit at breakfast An apple or a banana There are lots of vitamins in fruit And there is fiber too do you like fruit, Hanny? Yes, I do. But what are vitamins? Why do we need them? Vitamins are nutrients in some foods. They're good for all parts of your body, and they make you strong. Mom says we should eat lots of fruit to get the vitamins we need. That's good, because fruit is delicious. Are there vitamins in eggs? Yes, there are. Page 31, exercise 2, listen and read. It's important to get a balance of the right kinds of food. Our bodies need lots of different nutrients, including vitamins and minerals, to work well, and be healthy. This healthy eating plate is a good way to think about what we need. 1. We should try to eat 5 to 7 pieces of fruit and vegetables a day. There are lots of vitamins in fruit, such as vitamin C. There is also fiber. Fiber is very important in a healthy diet. 2. Carbohydrates give us energy. We can get these in bread, pasta, rice, and cereal. 3. We need protein to help us grow and to make our body strong. There is protein in meat, fish, and eggs. 4. There is protein in dairy foods such as milk and cheese too. Dairy foods also give us vitamins and a mineral called calcium. Calcium is good for our bones, heart, and muscles. 5. We need some fats too, because they give us energy and help us absorb some important vitamins. There are healthy fats and oils, such as olive oil and butter. Many foods, such as cakes, biscuits, and soda, contains sugar. We shouldn't eat or drink a lot of sugar. Tip, we need different vitamins for different things. Vitamin C is good for our skin, and it makes us strong. Can you find out what vitamins A, B, and D are good for? Exercise 3. Cover the picture, ask and answer. You can do this with your friend. Just cover this picture and start asking. Can you remember a food in the diary section? I know, cheese. Can you remember a food in the carbohydrates section? Page 32, listen, read and say. 1. You should eat a healthy lunch every day. 2. You shouldn't eat cookies every day. Exercise 2. Look, circle and write. We have Hannah and Henny, and we will use should and shouldn't. And also we'll use these words. The first one is used by the book, candies. We have also soda, bread and fruit. Number 1 is an example done by the book. Hannah shouldn't eat candies every day. Look at the picture and choose the correct words. Number two. Hanny should eat fruit every day. Number three. Hannah should eat bread every day. And number four. Hanny shouldn't drink soda every day. Exercise three. Read and answer. Eunice is an athlete. He wants to have a healthy diet. He lives in a hot country 
and he does a lot of exercise. He is going to do a race tomorrow, so he needs lots of energy. Question number one. Should he eat some food with carbohydrates? Yes, he should. Should he drink water when he exercises? Yes, he should. Should he sleep for four hours tonight? No, he shouldn't. Number four. Should he eat lots of candies and cakes? No, he shouldn't. Page 33. Reading. Exercise 1. Listen and read. Why do we need water? All living things need water. Animals and humans drink water. Plants get it from the soil in their roots. We all know water is good for us, but do you know how important it is for our health? Our blood is about 82% water. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients around the body. We eat food and it breaks down into nutrients in our stomach. Water helps with this and it also helps carry the nutrients around the body in our blood vessels. Our brains are made up of about 75% water. If you drink enough water, your brain works better. If you don't drink enough water, you get dehydrated. You feel tired and you don't have a lot of energy. You can get a headache or find it difficult to think. When you are hydrated, it means you are getting enough water. It's good for your joints, your bones, and your body temperature. Water also helps your body to get rid of toxins and helps other organs in your body to work well. Children should drink about 1.5 liters of water every day. Most of this should be pure water, but we can also get water from other drinks, such as milk, tea, and fruit juices, and fruits and vegetables. We should drink more water in hot weather, because we lose water when we sweat. Exercise 2, read again and match. The first one is done by the book. Hydrated, the answer is E. When your body gets enough water, this is hydrated. Number 2, dehydrated is what? B. When your body doesn't get enough water. Number 3, joints. Yes, correct. D, the parts of your body that move. Four, toxins. F, things you don't want in your body, they can make you ill. Five, temperature. C, a measurement of how hot or cold you feel. The last one. Number six, sweat. It's A, a liquid that comes out of your skin when you are hot. So please check your answers again. 1E, 2B, 3D, 4F, 5C, 6A. Exercise 3, ask an answer. Question number 1. How much of our blood is made up of water? You can find the answer in the text. Our blood is about 82% of water. 2. How much of our brain is made up of water? Our brains are made up of about 75% water. 3. What happens if you are dehydrated? You feel tired and you don't have a lot of energy. You can get a headache or find it difficult to think. 
page 34, Life Skills. Exercise 1, listen and read. We can look at food packaging to find out what is in our food. This helps us decide if it is healthy or unhealthy. For example, if we see that there are lots of calories and not a lot of vitamins, we can decide to make a different choice. These are some words you will find on a food package. Serving, how much you eat at one time. Calories, the amount of energy in food. Sodium, this is a mineral, we need enough of it, but we shouldn't have too much. The salt we get in food is sodium mixed with other things. We shouldn't eat food with too much salt in. Enough, the right amount. Too much, more than we need. Percent, when we see something like that, 50%. It means that this food gives us 50% or half of the amount of that vitamin or mineral that our bodies need every day. Exercise 2. Read and complete using calories, percent, sign, or grams. Number 1. We measure energy in. Look at energy. We measure it with calories. Very good. Number two, we use what to measure a nutrient? Yes, we use grams. See, we have grams here. Number three, if we know how much we need of a nutrient each day, we can look at what percent or at this sign this food gives us. So this is the same like percent. Exercise three. Look at the cereal package and ask an answer. This is a cereal package and this is what you will find on it. Information about serving size, energy, fat, fiber and so on. Question number one. How many calories does this breakfast cereal have? Let's look at the calories. Energy. Yes, it has. 115 calories. Number two, how much fiber does this breakfast cereal have? Let's look at fiber. 0 0.6 grams. Exercise four, find out how much fiber do children need a day? We find fiber in fruits and vegetables. I think you need at least one or two pieces of fruits or vegetables a day. Number two, how much vitamin C do children need a day? You can look this up through the internet or in a book. Please don't forget to find this out. And please don't forget to, find, to see the other part or the second part of Unit 3. See you soon. Bye.